he's not exactly looking daisy fresh himself. He hasn't really been hurt at all, but has taken a lot out of him. And this man has been well and truly thumped, but he is still in this contest. And what a tough, tough round that was. McCafferty once again coming round the corner underneath the elbows, and he stung Harrison, and Harrison has got very, very fast hands for such a big man. And McCafferty has done very well to cover up, and in the main, keep him at bay, but there's a certain inevitability about the outcome of this contest. Yeah, and a oh, look at that for a terrific left hand there from, uh, from Harrison. But McCafferty himself, he was, he was successful himself there, working to the body and the head. That was a good round. And uh, I'd, again, I would give that round to, uh, to, to Harrison on the 10-9, definitely. Second out, round of five. This is just what Oldie Harrison needs. I think the corner would like to see him now just step up the work rate, and if he can, get this over inside the distance, because certainly that would look a lot better on the old record. Yeah, definitely. This is the type of fight he's got to um, he's got to fight now. He's got to keep it long. Do do exactly what he did in Sydney. Keep it nice and long. Keep him on the end of the shots and bring him onto that left uppercut as, as he nearly did there. But this guy, he's, a, he's a not a bad fellow himself. He's come to fight. He's come to win. McCafferty. There's no doubt about that. Well, I've never listened to a boxer who said when interviewed before contest that he thought he might lose this one. They all say that they're going to win. And. Derek McCaffrey looking for a very big upset, but that's not going to happen unless Harrison gets desperately, desperately careless. And at this stage of his professional career, with all that's in front of him, he's surely not going to do that. Once again, McCaffrey working hard. Good defense from Harrison. Well, a lot of the time, Jimmy, you've got to say, uh, Harrison's probably in a no-win situation. He's expected to get rid of these guys very, very early. But when he does that, then people turn around and say, well, he's not boxing anyone anyway. So what he's got to do uh, as a boxer, uh, I would say he's, he's definitely, this type of fight is excellent for him because he's, he's working and he's learning all about the pro game. He's got to keep winning, and at the moment, he's certainly winning this contest. Scheduled a member for six three-minute rounds. A little admonition from John Coyles and McCaffrey to keep the punches up. Right hand from the Kettering Bay Scotsman from Aberdeen wasn't too far away. Harrison covering up nicely, then worked hard in his defence. He because doesn't, as, uh, Richie Woodall can tell us. He doesn't from, need uh, to be there, Jim. That's the why he doesn't want to the pros be. is different, isn't it? He just doesn't need to be there. This is you bringing McCafferty into the fight now. This is the type of fight that McCafferty wants. He wants it close. He's going to love this. He's look, he's been successful. Good shot. And McCafferty now has uh, got a second win and Harrison has got to try to pick up the pace a little bit this has not been Harrison's best round by any means he has got a just under a minute now to turn this one round he's look um, Harrison's looking for that uppercut he's looking for that uppercut all the time that's, that's what he's doing when he's on the inside but he's not throwing enough punches and as long as the fight is fought there then McCaffrey is winning, winning this round well I'm just glancing over at the Harrison corner and the one or two anxious looks I don't think they're worried about him losing this contest good defense and great stuff by McCaffrey and listen to the cheers in Newcastle that was a terrific flurry of shots from McCaffrey that was good work he's got this round for me Jim Well, that was a tough round for Harrison. And he snorts and he breathes heavily and the gum shield is almost coming out of its own volition. And Orby Harrison was made to work very, very hard in that round. And Richie Woodall beside me at ringside reckons that that went to McCafferty. Well. Yeah, I certainly did. I mean, for me, he landed the, the much better shots and the fight, he fought the fight at close range and he scored, he scored the more blows, there's no doubt about it for me. Well, McCafferty, under a little bit of pressure in the third round, really came storming back in that one and caught the Olympic champion two or three times with pretty decent shots. I mean, I'm looking over at Harrison Jim and uh, he's blown away, um, he's blown away, I should I say, and he, he's, he's definitely feeling it, he's feeling the pace. Warner, 10 seconds. Well, Harrison has turned round and has given a very broad Take win to uh, a couple of supporters Six, at ringside, round. as if to say, I've got this well in control. 
So three more minutes and Odie Harrison, having gone less than three minutes in his opening professional contest, finds himself now in round number six against a man who has given him a fair old evening's work. And full marks to McCafferty. Lovely stiff jab by Harrison. He's moving a lot easier now. He's got to put that uh, right-left combination together if he can and maybe throw in the occasional uppercut. And McCafferty's still there. Well, Harrison's got a lovely jab, and this is what he wants to be doing. That, that's good work, keeping his uh, uh, opponent at long range on the end of that jab. And he probably went through a bit of a breather in that last round. And he needs a good finish here, a good rousing finish here. That's what we want. Well, just about two minutes to go, and Harrison, I think the crowd will be expecting him to win this. He's had to work very hard for it. Well, as the fight's gone on, McCafferty's got, he's got more confidence. He's been successful. And uh, again, he's winning this round again. Well, that was low. Right hand, right hand was low. Right hand was low. Well, referee John Coy will brook no nonsense whatsoever. The clock will stop. It starts again. Under two minutes to go. And Harrison very much into unknown territory. The most he ever boxed as an amateur was four two-minute rounds. Before this, Less than three. And Harrison now trying to finish this in style just to emphasize his superiority and prove that he does have the pedigree to go all the way. But Derek McCafferty has made it tough enough for him. Yeah, he certainly has, yeah. If, if this has been if he can have uh, four, five, six, maybe even more of these type of opponents, this is the type of opponent he needs. Someone who's gonna give him a fight. Well, he almost caught him with another good right hand, and Harrison looked over the McCafferty corner and says, don't worry, he didn't get me, and McCafferty has put up a great contest against Harrison. Once again, McCafferty told about keeping the punches up, and he's got Harrison with a good left hand to the body, and Harrison's come storming back. We're going to be in for a real grandstand finish here, and McCafferty is not going to go away. No, excellent stuff from both fighters, but all is a bit tired now. Um, but McCafferty, he's coming on strong, but I just hear the, the corner saying last 40, last 30 seconds for Harrison. And uh, that's the sign now he's, he's on his back foot, and that's better boxing, that's good stuff. Well, I think uh, Harrison will be looking to his conditioning if his career is going to unfold the way he planned. Lovely shot from Harrison, hands held on, but the left one in right at the end there was an absolute peach, and McCafferty took it on that solid chin of his and shrugged his head and came in like a real bear. No blood now coming from the nose of McCafferty. Just a few seconds remaining. McCafferty puffing and blowing. A lot of blood coming from his mouth and nose, and that's the end of it. Harrison's won it. Harrison's won it. The people who are booing, I suspect, wanted an awful lot more from Audley Harrison, but he's won his contest. He's gone six rounds. Derek McCafferty raised his hands and won a round of applause. The Aberdonian is getting here in Newcastle. Audley Harrison moves up in a month's time uh, to Glasgow, and in Glasgow they know a thing or two about boxing, and they'll be interested to see if there's any improvement in Audley Harrison. But he's done exactly what he had to do, Richie. Let's yeah. not take it away from him. Let's not get involved in big drudgery. He had a very, very hard contest against an opponent who was much, much better than his opening opponent, Mike Middleton. Good work there from Harrison right at the end. And McCafferty took it very, very well. And he made the Olympic champion work extremely hard for a second professional victory. It was a, a very, very good scrap for Harrison. He'd need a lot more of those. I'm not sure he'd want to see anybody just as rugged as Derek McCaffrey for quite some time. But Harrison has done what he had to do. It's now 4-2 and 1-2. Ladies and gentlemen, after six half four rounds of boxing, the referee, John Coyle, scores contest for Derek McCaffrey, 55 points. For Audley Harrison, 59 points. Your winner, and still undefeated, A-Force, Audley Harrison. Well, John Coyle scored it exactly the same as the man beside me, Richie uh, Wood. Also, I'm not sure whether you're getting back into a ring, Richie, but you're a pretty good judge of boxing. Yeah, that way, that's the way I see.